There is a mason jar of strawberry rhubarb jam in the pantry of the house that we call home. It is, and forever will be, one week older than our marriage, and neither is getting any younger. We'll never eat it, but still we suspect we could. And because of this, on principle, we will never throw it away. It was the very last jar, after we gave away all the rest, after we picked and washed countless quarts of berries, cut and cooked and mixed and mashed them together with all the sugar and the pectin and the compassion we would then seal airtight beneath the lid in the hope of keeping out the smallest of unseen things. Everyone told us it was a wonderful act of love. Fifteen years later, we retell the story to each other, and each remember it differently. I remind you that you thrust a wooden spoon toward my lips, fresh from the cauldron, and said, Here, taste this. How naively I obeyed, trusting in love, never hesitating, and burn my lips and tongue so terribly only to then discover that I was also allergic to something in the recipe. You remember the inept way I could not pick the lids off the bottom of the pot, how you had to show me how to do everything and ended up doing most of the work. Today we are older and wiser and more thoughtful, and we do more or less the same things. It was your idea to make a jar of hand-picked fruit jam for every single guest at our wedding. Then again, I was the one to tell you it was such a great idea before the burnt tongue and the anaphylaxis. When compared to the bliss of falling in love, physiologically, the inflammatory response is only subtly different. This is why the jar still sits gathering dust on our pantry shelf, the memory of this day. It reminds us of the love we show on our best and worst days, our capacity to forgive, to own our mistakes, to kiss sweetly in the pantry with all the soup cans looking on, to make a fuss over burned lips, to fetch an ice cube and a glass of wine. We trust that this last jar is still sealed, that we did it right, that if we opened it, if we thrust a spoon toward the other and said, here, taste this, that neither of us for a moment would hesitate.